What's up, everybody? Today, I want to talk to y'all about Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. That's what I want to talk to y'all today about. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. And it says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. Thou hast shall be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of, the, of thy God. I will also forget thy children. Now clearly, we can see that having no knowledge of the Bible is very, very detrimental to our life. Let me elaborate a little more. How can, how can you know the tricks of the enemy if you don't know the word of God? How you know how things operate if you don't know the word of God? How can you know what God is like and how you know what God disapprove of if you don't know the word of God? If you're not studying this Bible to show and prove yourself, like how can you even, this is like the blueprint to life. Not only is the blueprint to life, it's also the blueprint to get to heaven. How can we know God if we're not reading our Bible? We have to read our Bible. You know? How can we teach the next generation about our Lord if we don't even have no knowledge of the Bible? Just think about it. If you don't have no knowledge of the Bible, then how would you know, when, say like if you in church or something, how you know what the pastor is preaching if you don't know the Bible? How you know it's false teaching if you don't know the word of God? He could be telling you anything and you don't even know the word of God. That's why it's always good to know the word for yourself. So if anybody says something that don't line up with the word, then you, you can call them on it. You can, you can you know that it's false teaching. That's why a lot of people are falling trapped into false religion because they don't know the true word of God. They don't know it for themselves. They just go by what men teach them. It's always good to know the word for yourself. That's just like, I use this analogy for me. That's just like if I give you a thousand bucks and then you cool with that. But if I teach you how to make the thousand and you know, know and you more knowledgeable on how to make the thousand dollars, you better get it for yourself. So when every time you need money, you'll know how to get money. Same thing with the Bible. The more you know, the more wisdom you have. And the more you can teach others. How you know God? Think about it. A lot of people don't even, like, all God laws is in this book. Everything about God, mostly everything about, well, now I won't even see mostly because it's just a fraction of what we know about God. God is all knowing. It would be impossible to know everything about God. But I'm just saying, though, think about it, though. How would you know what God like and what he don't like if you're not reading his word? How would you even know how to overcome stuff if you're not reading his word? Like, how you know what God's laws are if you're not reading his word? Like, i give you a few examples. Like, some people don't even know uh, talking to psychics and practicing witchcraft is even a sin because it's so common now. Like, seriously, some people don't even know that's a sin. That going to practicing witchcraft and going to psychics for information, a lot of people don't even know that's even a sin. That's just one example out of many. Or even being... Engage in a homosexual uh, uh, lifestyle or in a relationship, that is a sin. Some people know, but some people don't even know that is even a sin. Some people think it's okay. Not saying it's going to make a difference, but at least they would know that they're living in sin if they read their Bible. Just like even having sex without being married is a sin. Some people don't even know that because it's so common. It's so common these days. A lot of people don't even know that's even a sin. Because we don't talk about these things. Because they don't read their Bible. If you read your Bible, you'll know a lot of things. And 
you would turn away from a lot of these things. But some people just don't know. Even being married and 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 even looking at someone in a lustful way, even that's a sin. Like, but that just goes to show. A lot of people don't know because they don't read their Bible. And some of them will perish. Some people will perish because they don't have no knowledge. Because they're not reading their word. How can you know God's word if you're not reading it for yourself? Always read the word for yourself so you can show and prove. That way you would know. That way you'd be more knowledgeable and you have wisdom. But how can you teach anyone else about the Bible if you're not reading it for yourself? You should never go off what anyone tell you about the Bible. You should always know it for yourself. You should never go off your own understanding. Like you got a lot of people going off their own understanding these days and have a, rape of, uh, a reprobate mind. You can't tell them anything. A lot of them got their own mind made up. And the way things are today, it, it would be very ignorant of you not to live according to the way God wants you to live. It would be ignorant of you to, to not accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior the way things are going, the way things are, uh, going these days. Look at the crime rate. Look at all the sickness and illness we got in this world. People are dropping like flies every time you look up. If it ain't someone you're close to, it's these celebrities dying left and right. Look at, look at everything that's going on. All these natural disasters, all these fires and hurricanes and everything like that. And the crime rate is up more than ever. Like, just think about it. Why would you not want to get close to Jesus at this point? Like, if, if it was any other time to get close to Jesus, now is the time. Don't worry about what your friends got to say. Don't worry about what anyone got to say. Get close to Jesus and start your relationship and get saved. I'm just saying. We need to look at, we got to look at God's word like it's our spiritual food. It's our spiritual food. You got to feed yourself every day with God's word. It's healing to our soul. The more, the more you, the more you feed yourself with this spiritual food, the more and more you are satisfied. You are full with God's word. I'm just saying. You gotta, you gotta feed, you gotta feed that hunger. You gotta feed your body, just like you eat physical food, and you and to get full. You gotta eat your spiritual food too by reading God's word. Like, it's so messed up out here, man. We have to. We have to feed ourselves with God's word. The more knowledge we got, the more better we can be for ourselves and our children and our family. We, we have to feed ourselves with God's word. I'm just saying. How can you know anything about God when you ain't reading his word? People could just tell you anything and you'll fall for it. Or you'll see some online and you just agreeing to it. Because you don't know God's word for yourself. You got to know God's word for yourself. Don't lean, don't lean on your own understanding what you think. No, be for sure. God said don't take away and don't add nothing to his word. You see that all day. How would you know if anybody taking away or adding anything to God's word when you don't read it for yourself? How would you even know that? It's like everything is a business now. Church, everything. People making church a business. Some churches is all about money now. If they're not trying to feed your soul and trying to save your soul and all they're doing is preaching prosperity, how would you even know? You know, they just tell you things that you want to hear. Trying to tickle your ear. That's all people want to do. They want their ears tickled. They don't want they want to hear God's word. They don't want to hear nothing that's gonna nothing that's gonna save their soul. People don't care about that no more. But don't you, how would you know the tricks of the enemy if you don't know God's word? You, you got power over the devil, over Satan. You got power, but you wouldn't know that. And you would just accept anything that comes your way, any trouble come your way. You'll feel helpless. You'll feel like there's, there's nothing you could do to make your situation better because you just accepted it. But no, there's power in the name of Jesus. And you would know that if you read your Bible. We have to start reading our Bible, people. I know, and I'm guilty of it too. I have to read mine more. And here's the thing. If you don't want to read, you can always listen to it too. 
If you're at work, you want to listen to your Bible while you're working, listen to your Bible. Gain as much as knowledge as you can. Just think about it. When you're on your job, you try to gain as much knowledge as you can on your job. So when it's time for you to get that raise from your boss, he can't deny your raise because you know everything. Same thing. You got to learn as much as you can at this Bible, from this Bible. It's very important. You know, I can't stress this enough. And you see it. People are falling for anything. People think there's a lot of ways to get to God. There's only one way to get to God. They would know there's only one way to get to God if they read their Bible. A lot of people are thinking they could, there's many paths to God. No, it's only one way. You got to go through his son, Jesus Christ. There's power in the name of Jesus. But a lot of people say it ain't no power in the name of Jesus. It's power in the name of God. No, it's power in the name of Jesus. Jesus and God is one. But call on the name of Jesus. There's power in that, in, in the word of, uh, in the name of Jesus. You got to be careful what you say. Your mouth is like a two-edged sword. You got to be careful what you say. You got to quit all this complaining too. Just give everything to God. When you have a problem, things ain't going your way, or you stressed out, or you worried, you got anxiety, just give it all to the Lord. Just let him take, you give it every, give all your problems to him. Give it all to him. And, let, and you just focus on doing what you need to do. Don't focus on a problem. Focus on something that's bigger than your problem, which is the Lord. He can, he can eliminate all your problems if you let him, if you trust him, if you just have faith. So all I'm saying is this, y'all. Read your Bible. Try to gain as much knowledge as you can about God. Because the more you trust and believe, the more you know about him, is the more you're going to understand life. What to do and what not to do. And you're going to love him even more. Because the more you, you you know his character. And, you, and not saying you're going to... Excuse me. Love him and also fear him too. Because you're going to know, reading this book, that he is not no joke. He's not to be played with. He's the same God that can give you life. And the same God to take your life. So I'm just saying. Gain much knowledge as you can by reading your Bible. That way you can overcome the enemy, and that way you won't just fall for anything. All this false teaching out here. That way you won't fall for anything. And also it's a blueprint for your life. When you going through obstacles in your life, you'll know how to overcome them. Because you got in the word of God. So I'm just telling y'all. We gotta we gotta better ourselves for the next generation. My people perish for lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Dude, that is serious. God meant that, and it's true. You see it all day long. People are being destroyed. A lot of people are going to hell because they simply just don't know. They don't know false teaching. They don't know false religion. They don't know none of that. But they would know that if only they read the true and one only uh, God's word. I'm just saying, at this point, what would it hurt for you to read your Bible, gain the knowledge, accepting Jesus into your life as your Lord and Savior, and start living for him? You never know when your clock going to stop. You never know. No one know. But just reassure that if you start your, if you accept Jesus into your life, just know when you do die, you know you're saved. You don't have Jesus in your life, just know you're not safe. Just know there is a place called hell, and that's exactly where you're gonna go if you don't know. If you don't know Jesus, and if you don't know you, that's exactly where you're gonna go. We have to repent of our sins. That's another thing. If you read your Bible, then you know when we commit sin, we have to repent so God can forgive us. Of our sins, but you won't know that if you know nothing about God or the Bible at all. If you just reject Him, I want to urge everybody that's watching this video: if you ever straight away from the Bible, come back to Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, then I urge you get to know Jesus. And if you just an atheist or a non-believer, or and you base all your knowledge on science, I tell you now, get away from all of that. That, that 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 witchcraft stuff 
that, that false that false information and come straight to Jesus and live for him. Because one day you're going to realize you was wrong. And looking at this video right now, you don't want to die and realize you was wrong. And you got the chance right now to fix it right now. You got a chance right now to fix your situation. It shouldn't take you having to die to realize you was wrong. Fix that situation right now. Accept Jesus in your life and start living for him. And that way you can make it to the kingdom of heaven. It's, at the end of the day, guys, it's all about our relationship with Jesus and what we do for the Lord. Because that's the only thing that's going to matter. You can have all the money you want, all the riches, all the fame. It ain't going to get you into heaven. The only thing going to get you into heaven is accepting his son, Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Savior. And I urge all you guys, if you haven't accepted him, accept him today. Accept him right now. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. God bless. Peace.